Hey what's up guys Faisal here with a very informative and time saving video about Excel especially for account staff. In this video we'll be doing macro that moves data from one Excel workbook to another workbook. Let's assume you receive payment records about your customers in a format as you can see on the screen and you want to transfer these data in double entries, debit and credit to another workbook as you can see on the screen. With just one button, we transfer all data in double entries to another workbook. It will save tons of your time and you can use it for any purpose. So without further ado, let's get started. First thing first, we need to turn on developers tab to do so on Windows Excel version. Click on file, option, on the left side click on customize ribbon and look for developers option and tick it once done click save and you will see developers option on top to turn on developers tab on mac version click on excel preferences click on view and at the bottom check the developers tab and close it on developers tab we can create buttons and set visual basic code to do any job I've already set one so I will remove this and I will click on filter data what I did was duplicate each record entry the reason why we do this to record first entry to debit and second entry for credit amount so let me open visual basic editor and show you the code so the first five lines I have declared variables. The variable x and y I have used it for the name column. It picks the data from the column A2 and transfer it to column H with double entries. Same method applies to receipt column and date column. But the amount column is a bit different. Here what I did was duplicate the data from column E2 to column L with single entry but blank cells in between them. The last piece of code which I have applied on column L will automatically add zero in blank cells. So as you can see it simplifies data from green table to blue. Once we have done this now I will transfer this simplified data to another workbook. Once we have clicked on update data, it will pull the data to this workbook. To cross check the debit and credit amount, it should always be equal. So let's open the visual basic editor and have a look at the code. Under name column, the first line code is for destination workbook name GL port 9 and its info and the second line code is source workbook name is data and info as you guys can see each line I have mentioned the workbook name with specific format and the worksheet name as well as the column range same method applies to the date receipt and payment column but debit and credit column if you look at the source Second line code for each, I'm transferring the data from L column to the debit column E and credit F. Take note, both Excel files should be in one folder and when you are transferring data from one workbook to another, both workbooks should be open at the same time, otherwise it won't transfer data. Hope you guys find this video helpful at your work environment. You can find the visual basic code link in the description below. If you like this video, please make sure give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. You can also check other videos given on the screen. Until then, peace.